Hi, I'm Charles Lee, and sometimes the only thing better than planning an adventure is taking one on impulse. About a kilometer behind me, however far that is, is Koh Tapayai, which, if rumors are to be believed, is home to a nesting colony of pied hornbills, an animal that wasn't on my list for this trip, but has special significance, since the Honolulu Zoo was the first in the world to breed this animal in captivity. And I want to see them in the wild for myself. The best way to get out there is by kayak, but you first have to understand the tides, as there's only a short window between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Otherwise, you'll end up stranded and you're better off just swimming out to the island. Getting to the island is probably going to be the most dangerous part. Lying between here and there is a flotilla of various vessels, any one of which could easily capsize my little kayak. At the same time, it's handy to use Google Maps to scope out the area from above, just to pinpoint any particular landing sites that might be worthy of your vessel, unless you crash it onto the rocks. The corpse of a small boat sits more than half submerged in the water, while the remains of larger but equally derelict vessels list nearby. It makes me wonder if anyone's even on this island anymore. But while I'm not sure about human life, this place is definitely inhabited. It's shadowy and in the distance, but that's distinctively the outline and flight pattern of a hornbill. On an island as large as this one, and with an animal as elusive as a bird, it really doesn't make sense just to go staggering through the jungle in hopes that you'll see one. Instead, you want to hedge your bets by figuring out where this animal is most likely going to be. And big birds need big trees, specifically to build their nests. This has put these birds at risk due to deforestation. With a shortage of trees, these animals are running out of nesting grounds. One way to counteract this is setting up bird boxes in the wild, large containers that these animals can use as surrogate nesting areas. But the existence of these islands in itself is another great way to protect them, by setting aside refuges, sanctuaries for them, where they will be hopefully undisturbed by people. Since the tide is rising, it's a good idea to stash our kayak high and dry. No point in swimming home once all is said and done. But where are we exactly? Pulling ashore, we learn just to what extent man Whoa. has left this world behind. I can only surmise that this place is background, but... It's certainly large and opulent. Perhaps it was a resort at some time. It fell into disuse. Slowly, the scenery starts to paint a picture. This resort, and probably many more like it, were built on these islands hoping to attract guests, perhaps using the hornbills as a lure for wildlife thrill seekers. Unfortunately, there might not have been enough interest in the bird, and far grander resorts on the mainland drove this place into extinction. Still, these ruins just might be the break we need, because these abandoned walkways are the perfect path for navigating sections of these islands. Otherwise, without it, we'd have to bushwhack through unknown territory, and this being Thailand, there's probably no shortage of venomous insects and snakes lying about. Because we don't have to keep our eyes on the ground searching for danger, we can instead continue scanning the skies and the treetops. It's easier said than done. These birds know how to keep hidden, even when in plain sight, and on more than several occasions, we stumble across them, only to have them take off before we can get a good look. But. This old hotel might still be of use to us as of yet. The upper floors may provide the blind and a vantage point we need to spot these birds where they're most comfortable. Well, it feels solid. Hours go by with little to no indication that the birds are dead. Whoa! Just sitting in that tree behind us is the creature we've been searching for, the pied hornbill. And it's been a trip. I mean, he's probably been watching us this whole time and it took him several hours to determine that we're not a threat. That's why he's just sitting there. And it's definitely a he. Take a look at that distinctive cask or that helmet on his head. Unfortunately though, it's considered a form of ivory 
with elephants being scarcer and scarcer, people are now turning to hunting hornbills for their heads and for those casks to turn them into ornaments. And because well, many of these birds are resorting to nesting boxes, they become easy targets. Just like with elephants, say no to ivory, especially if it's made from hornbills. If you happen to be out in the world and you find one of their skulls or one of their casks up for sale, please tell people no. In fact, please tell them why they should preserve these animals and... Oh wait, wait a minute. I'm on vacation. I don't have to be the responsible one. Burn those shops to the ground. Purge them in the cleansing flame of oblivion. <laughs>